Hi, I'm Ted Bear. Thanks for coming to my channel, That's Cool, the channel dedicated to helping you raise your cool factor. Today, I'm going to give you an introductory lesson on spinning, twirling, and flipping items that you find in your everyday life. And if you stick with me, you'll find that you can learn these items in just a matter of minutes. Uh, the spatula here, that's going to be reserved for another video. It's much more involved and, and will take you a little bit more practice. I'll begin by showing you little clips of people spinning, twirling, and flipping things, and talking to you about being cool. Then I'll show you how to interact with objects that you encounter every day. Each item requires only a few minutes of practice, unlike the skills you are watching now. These people have honed their skills, and I think you'll agree they are cool. Each one is demonstrating one of their passions, and I guarantee you that they have many. People aren't either cool or uncool. Everyone watching this video has a degree of coolness, and I think everyone should try to increase theirs. The goal of this channel is to help you work on becoming a bit cooler. You have lots of time to choose what you want to do in life and who you want to become. In my book, That's Cool, which is available on Amazon, you will be taught 49 awesome tricks and skills to raise your cool factor but the best part of the book is the appendix. The appendix is all about goal setting and how to achieve those goals. Wake up each morning looking forward to learning as many skills as you can. Specialize in areas where you have a gift. Learn a second language. Play a musical instrument. Try different sports. Sing. Be the handy person that knows how to fix things. Get an advanced degree. Learn how to whistle or how to cook. The skills you can accumulate in your life are endless. Be optimistic and grateful. It will make you happy. Pick friends that are up elevators, uplifting and supportive. Avoid those down elevator people who seem to enjoy the negative side of things. Just what is it that makes you cool? People with money often give the impression of being cool because they own cool things, travel to exotic places, or participate in elite activities. But money doesn't make you cool. Being cool is a conglomeration of many things. I've already mentioned how important having passion is. Another very big element is self-confidence. Don't confuse it with arrogance. Present yourself humbly while knowing what you have to offer. Be fearless walking into any gathering of people, like a James Bond, because you have your act together. Socially, confidence may come from being respected and well-liked because you treat people well. In a business setting, it might mean being organized and prepared to give a terrific presentation of creative ideas. In both cases, you need to put in the work and have pride in what you are doing and how you treat people. What else adds to your confidence? Strive for excellence in every aspect of your life. Have a game plan for each day and confidence that you can do anything you put your mind to. Advance your talents and gather experiences. Be extraordinary. Being cool is also a mindset. It embraces being unique. Be comfortable being you. It's easy to increase your cool factor. Be nice to people. Be genuine. Have principles. Exude calmness. Be honest. Think before you speak. Listen and be humble. These things make you cool. My hope is that you also go through life with a little extra flair. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of short video clips of cool things you can do with the items that you run into in everyday life. They're all easy to do. They're not difficult at all. Just pick a particular item and practice it a few minutes. 
and you'll get it down. We are around many objects each day, touching them, using them, and moving them. You will find it fun to start interacting with them more. Try to see each object as a toy and try to remember what it was like being a child again. Teach yourself how to spin, twirl, or flip the objects. With a minimum amount of practice, you'll get the skill down. It's not only fun, but as you gain confidence in doing the action, you'll be able to integrate the skill occasionally into your daily life. Others will see it and think you're cool and that you have a certain pizzazz about you. Here's your chance to stand out from the crowd and move through life a little differently. I'm demonstrating this skill and in some cases showing it to you in slow motion so that you can see how I'm doing it. In some cases, like spinning the lighter, it will be very obvious which direction will work when you try to do it. In other cases, like when I'm spinning the hat or the coat hanger, it matters which direction I'm spinning them in. Sometimes the speed I'm using benefits the trick and other times it doesn't matter. You might just watch this video again right before you tackle learning a particular skill. Use your own imagination on the objects you are around daily. When you are practicing some of these skills, it will help you to practice over a bed or a couch. That way, when you drop the object, you can pick it up again quickly to practice some more. If you are having trouble with a particular skill, end on a good note and come back for another practice session later. It's like when you are practicing on a basketball court. Always leave the court on a positive note making your last shot. I know these are easy skills to learn, but if you want more of a challenge, consider buying my book That's Cool and, of course, subscribe to this channel. I caught your interest today, so please give me a thumbs up so that I'm motivated to keep producing these videos. I have a lot of cool things to share. Lastly, it's obvious that there is some danger here, so be careful. Avoid using objects where you can accidentally get hurt, like the sharp scissors or heavy hammer that you see me using. A great example of an oxymoron is the plastic glass I'm using for safety's sake, as broken glass can cut you. The last video I'm showing you in this sequence is of a guy spinning this cute lady around. I want to warn you that this move is extremely dangerous if you are not doing this move with your significant other. Thanks for joining me today.